Well, hey, fish heads. I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on what I've been doing here in the shop last 24 hours. Aside from filming a bunch of stuff and hanging out with Fluke, just wanted to show you the pieces. This one is going out this morning to Wayne Carlson. The last Night King, I was waiting on a shipment from Catchco to come in. So it is in, this is done, and this is the last in the limited series that I did. Heading out to Wayne this morning. This is, I'm, you know, I'm prior service, so this is one of the things that I really enjoy doing. I love doing camo patterns. So this is my M4 Sherman. Very cool. Great profile bait, great stained bait. It's going to have a glow-in-the-dark night tail, not for stealthiness, but because this is a darker profile bait and it's cool looking, um, I just thought that a glow or a smoke tail would be really cool. So that's what we're going to give it. Even did camo over the eyes because you shouldn't be able to see any reflectivity on that. And yeah, this uh, the clear coat will not look shiny underwater. There's always a debate on that. Do the fish care? I don't think so. But you always want to make sure on these soft tails that this back eyelet is free swinging. We've got this happy little guy right here. In crappy. Crappy, crappy. Call it what you'd like. Did just a little bit on the tail right there. I know my hands are chewed up. Sorry, folks. Um, winter is, is hell on my hands, and all the paint and chemicals that I use in here is hell on my hands. So I'm thinking about even switching to using both gloves, which is a pain in the butt. I really don't like to do it um, just because gloves take away the dexterity that I have in my right hand, which is my dominant hand. But this is a, a lighter version. Pretty little spring, early spring crappie coming up from the depths. So, it's a fun little pattern there. This pea is gone. It's been sold. Thank you, Lisa. And this is how this turned out. Bring that up into the camera. Super shiny. That's that beautiful KBS. Hard as a rock. Three coats strong. And this is from earlier this week, the spray session I did on this and also on that Johnston Perch pattern. So, awesome fun spray. Kind of looks like it's three-dimensional. That's just a, a spray trick and spraying light. But super fun pattern. Love doing peas. And the, the patterns are going to look a little bit different if you have a textured bait like these bull shad baits are on the gill versus a smoothie bait. I, th this watch is, I'm not used to it yet. I've been wearing it every day because I am determined, determined to try and drop some pounds and live a healthier life this year. I quit smoking 11 years ago, but it's, it's true what they say. If you have an addiction to smoking, you are prone to eating replacing. So I am bound to determine I've been doing over 10,000 steps a day. This little Vibe watch, it's not an Apple watch, it's way cheaper. Apple watches run around $200. This one was $50. So, if you guys are interested in that kind of thing, yeah, I can leave you a description, just comment. I'm not going to leave the description for the Vibe watch, but it's a 3 plus Vibe. It's 50 bucks, and it does pair with my iPhone. So, I wanted to do something different in the pattern. So, instead of the white which is super contrasty. I wanted to kind of mute that down a little bit. So in this gill, um, I wanted to go with some greens. And I think that turned out pretty well. I'm happy with the results. Got just a little bit of mica on the face here. And yes, Johnny Ellis, I do listen to you. We all do, because you are an aficionado in the swim bait world. Um, Johnny made a fairly good point. We all do it, and I still do it on my mirror carps, and I'm going to keep doing it there because mirror carps have a really tiny face. But having a clean gill plate and cheekbone on a lot of fish is a little bit closer to hatch matching than having scales and gill 
and, and different stuff all, all through your face. On the head I will a little bit, but I'm trying to do a couple of different things. And yeah, we listen to one another in the community, so I think that was a fair point made. And it wasn't a, a point made directly at anyone, but just a suggestion. So yeah, we'll take it. Absolutely. But here is your little purple yellow gill. This would be great in Table Rock. It would be fantastic on the East Coast. Deep Creek Lake, all the deep clear water lakes. These these gills are coming out in the spring. A little tinge of purple and a little tinge of yellow. You guys have seen this before. I had to replace the uh, display from the event on the Ketchco stand out here in the uh, shop, which is in front of this lens, in front of the camera. You can't, it's just off camera. So this is a little bit darker olive. Since I was shooting the camo bait, I figured I'd use that olive drab, olive green, to replace that bright fluorescent. So this is a little bit more subliminal of a pattern. You still have those bright fluorescent eyes. Everybody asks where I get these eyes. These eyes are from Lure Parts Online. Just look at their eye selection. And that is all the news that I have that's fit to print. Have a great weekend, everybody. I will see you on the next video next week. Cheers and happy casting from Jekyll Bates.